Here's a new idea, a mini retreat for boosting winter energy called Sprout Stretch Munch. It's organised by City Plot and Eat Live Love Food and they allowed So Down Local to check out the very first one. And the idea was sort of to, like this is the time of year where I find anyhow coming from a climate where you have a real winter, where it's like sun and snow and you're outside a lot, that the Dutch winters can be a bit hard because it's kind of grey, it's kind of yeah, monotonous weather and you're not moving usually all that much and there's not much to do with winter sport and it never snows and there's not a lot of sun and it's raining a lot. So you tend to get into some sort of bad patterns, maybe eating and drinking too much and maybe not moving as much. So this is sort of a way to kind of welcome the spring back in. And maybe it's something that you guys are all doing all the time anyhow, or intend to do or anyhow. But you do feel, we find that we do feel a lot better if you're doing more of the growing inside. Also just because growing is something, it's this little miracle of life that happens every time you plant a seed. And we're sort of thinking like our dream workshop because we do a lot of sort of nutrition growing workshops together, Joyce and I. And those are really fun, but we do sprouting and we do microgreens and dividing plants and you sort of run out of time and we don't we never get much time to cook anything. So we thought it'd be really nice just to have more time. And then Annalise joined City Plot recently and she, um, beyond being a grower, is a yoga teacher. So like, oh, that's like the perfect day. It's really about growing. It's about a seed and we're going to talk a lot more about seeds later. A seed that's slowly sending down roots and then stretching up to the light. But it's also kind of what we're doing with yoga. I think you go from like being all huddled inside yourself in the winter and then sort of stretching up and welcoming the spring. When a seed is sprouted, and Anne will talk about this more later, is that it becomes activated. So uh, the fibers are easier to absorb, and you can tell when you start chewing it, they're already easier to chew as well. So if you're eating just a dry almond, you know, it's taking up a lot of saliva, your mouth might be dry. In this case, your mouth is more moist, it's tastier, and, and really easier to digest. So, um, so there's more protein and fiber content as well. Um, you also have, in every seed, there are chemicals around them to protect them. And phytates and oxalates, when they're in our bodies, they prevent us from absorbing certain nutrients from our food. So things like magnesium, calcium, you know, a lot of things that you need in order to build structures, in order to be relaxed, those sort of things. They're packed with nutrients. So the more of those you can eat, then the more nutrients that you're going to be absorbing. Mm -hmm. Well, um, when, you, when you first start sprouting, what you're doing is you're soaking the seeds. So Anne will go more into that. But then you're rinsing the water away. So with that, the <laughs> oxalates and the phytates also go. But that's why it's really nice to add an avocado because fat also slows down the conversion. The recipe, like for example, the root one, I like a lot of ginger, but it's pretty sharp if you uh, start off and you haven't had ginger juice before. So the recipe is with a little bit less ginger. And the, the funny thing about the wheatgrass is like, you can just pick it up. It's only a centimeter of dirt and once you cut it, it'll still keep growing. There's enough uh, nutrients in the soil here, I think, to do one more batch. Oh, yeah. If my boyfriend makes it, then I'll try and guess what special ingredient we put in. <laughs> Maybe he cut something off of the windowsill yeah. and, you know. <laughs> so we're always trying to put in. This is the one with ginger, isn't it? No? Oh, that one, yeah. yeah. The you red. like ginger, right? Yeah. Ah, yeah, you know, and I tasted it, and I was like, oh, that's a bit spicy for people. Yeah, so it's I, really I, spicy, the red one. Really? Oh, yeah. oh, I, I cut down the So we're almost, it's almost time for yoga. Yeah, everyone wants to get ready. That one's in there. For more information about mini retreats and other workshops, see cityplot.org and eatlivelovefood.com.